I'm Jay Horton. I make movies that make money. This is how. I've been thinking a lot lately about the online filmmaking community and how we can best support one another and how we sometimes don't. I tend to share for other artists pretty indiscriminately. Unless something just looks god-awful or is moralistically suspect, I pretty much share anything. And while I don't expect others to necessarily follow my suit, I do wish in general there were more filmmakers supporting others that they're not necessarily directly involved with. About two years ago, I decided that I was going to start sharing other artists' stuff with absolutely no thought of reciprocation. I truly just wanted to help foster a filmmaking community. And on almost a daily basis, I've shared posts from more indie filmmakers and other artists than I can count in groups, on my personal pages here on Facebook, and on business pages, and other social media platforms. And I felt just fine about it. But in that time, almost none of these other filmmakers have reciprocated on any kind of tangible level for either me or anyone else that I can see. I'll sometimes see the obligatory thanks for sharing comment on the post, but that's about it. And for the longest time, I was cool with that. I mean, I didn't start doing it to get it back, but over the last six months or so, I've started to feel a little, well, disheartened at the overall level of self-absorption out there amongst indie filmmakers. You'll see others talking all the time about supporting others, supporting indie filmmakers, but then they just don't. I'm not mad that my stuff isn't getting shared in kind. I'm doing just fine. But I can count on one hand the number of filmmaker friends that I have that share stuff that they're not directly involved in. And I find that just really sad. When I see filmmakers that don't support anyone other than themselves, that just triggers the sh** out of me. I don't know. I mean, I can understand not sharing stuff that runs counter to your belief system or stuff that you just don't think is good. I, I got no problem with that. I'm not suggesting blindly sharing anything. But let's see what some others had to say. Filmmaker tips for filmmakers. So. I pretty much said this exact same spiel in a Facebook post last week. Let's see how some others responded. I completely concur with this. So when I used to be an actor, I would do exactly the same thing. I was always sharing, promoting, turning up for other people's screenings, etc. As you said, it's so waterlogged with people who aren't in it for community at all. I feel you there. Church. It seems most individuals are high on their own supply. There is a lot of competition for eyeballs, and when it comes down to it, most filmmakers won't burn bandwidth to promote others. This is something I try to not even think about. I just share a limited amount of projects, and I always feel good because it's in no way an emotional transaction. I'm not sure the reciprocal approach to sharing will ever be equitable on social media. But that doesn't mean we should stop trying. If it's in your nature to share and promote others, don't become discouraged. Right on. You have to decide who you are. So you support other people no matter what or not. I too decided to support my people. I post things for and about them. Haven't done you yet, sure. But frankly, I have a lot of friends who are talented and significantly talented. So are you saying in comparison to your other friends, I'm not talented enough to support? I'm guilty of this. And it's something we've been trying to figure out a solution for regarding to how to share other people's work and give context and get engagement for it. I feel kind of like it's hard to get people to care and even harder to motivate people to look at something that's ours and even harder yet when it's not ours. Been trying to figure out if there's a best practice beyond sharing posts. Have thought about doing a weekly blog roundup of others' projects or something. We've also been trying to make sure to include indie stuff on our podcast, but I don't think that does much either. So everything you say is true. Any thoughts on how to best platform out community? This has been on my mind for years, and maybe this is the time to figure it out. Man, I wish I had a good answer for that. I mean, I, I do believe that there's a much better way past just, you know, sharing other people's posts. But 
I also don't think that it has to be that complicated. I mean, me personally, I see something I like, I share it, I type a little blurb about it, hit the send button. Honestly, I just share. But granted, that's probably not the best answer. I think the blog post thing's a good idea. I've struggled with this as well. I go through my spurts of just putting shares, comments, and good vibes out there. I try to take myself out of the equation, but it still gets disheartening, especially when I find myself spending so much time on community that I wind up neglecting my own work and I have to mentally reprioritize. I'm frustrated as well and have had a hard time pinpointing why it's so difficult. I think there are tons of artists out there that wrestle with this too. Yeah, it's definitely tough and there's no easy answer to it. At least you're making an attempt to address the issue. I absolutely 100% agree with you. I'm part of probably a hundred independent film groups, if not a thousand, and you can scroll through some of these posts and they might have only two, three, or four likes and a couple of comments and no shares. But everyone is frustrated because they can't get their own movie made, but they're not willing to help people make theirs or support their dreams. Preach. I used to feel the same way. I had a blog and went through the same thing. Back then, I thought we should all support each other and spread the word on every indie filmmaker and every indie project. Since then, I've realized that blindly supporting others doesn't help anyone. In fact, it can actually hurt. I've learned to only promote projects that I feel are solid. This means I've either read the script or seen the short or worked with the actors or crew, etc and feel that the project is worthy of my recommendation. This is how it's done at a professional level, because to be blunt, a majority of indie films, TV shows, filmmakers, writers, actors, trying to get off the ground are first time amateurs with subpar work and often little to no talent. I would never expect someone to promote my work without first doing their due diligence and actually reading or watching my work. And they shouldn't expect anything more from me. Okay, there is some truth to this. Blindly supporting is not necessarily the right thing. I do it a little, but I do try to share mostly stuff that I find genuinely interesting or good. But other times, I'm just helping a brother or sister out. And I also agree that if you're cultivating a brand, it can hurt to promote something that runs counter to it. That said, the super elitist sounding middle section of this response makes me want to f***ing puke. Worthy of my recommendation? Who made them the guardian of quality? Art and movies? Subjective. One person's sh is another's gold. I've seen many indie films that I would consider to be technically bad where the acting, the shots, the story, the sound just don't work for me. But I'm also wise enough to put emphasis on the words doesn't work for me because I've also seen rabid fan bases for some of those exact same movies that I deemed bad. There are people who love them. Who am I or anyone else to tell them they're wrong? And if the movie works for them, they're not wrong. Regardless of how your film turns out technically, if you're delivering to an audience what it wants, there's no such thing as an objectively bad film. Whatever, hot take. But I'd be willing to bet good money that the quality cop there has never even produced a feature film of their own. Now, if I've misread this person, I apologize. This is just something that I feel pretty passionate about. I've even cut myself off professionally from other objectively talented filmmakers that don't promote others. That's how strong I feel about it. Check out this video right here if you want to learn more about how promoting others can actually pragmatically help you. But whatever you do, keep making movies.